Minecraft is one of those few games that actually got a feature created for itself. Well, not really, but uh, it's one of the first games to have this feature. It's called uh, Terrible Game Feature um, X, which is pronounced uh, ray tracing by Company Y. And Company Y decided they are going to make a ton of money out by overcharging people for it, which isn't a problem. It's whatever. But the problem is, is your performance that you get from Company Y's hardware... Once we turn company wise hardware little thing on. On the upscaling? Oh. Isn't actually that great. That and the fact that this is also Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And I can only get like no FPS in this anyways, so it isn't that much of an issue, but uh as Billy the Pillager here can 100% tell you that he does not have a leg that's been chopped off. If you're going to go ahead and be one of the first games to actually have ray tracing, you think that it would be a little bit better, but it's not. They're like shaders for Bedrock Edition, but they aren't because everything's messed up. Literally. So basically how ray tracing works, and I'm just going to be kind of a little bit of a rant, but ray tracing, uh, what you do is you get your, uh, get your point of light, so you get your light origins, so let's just say this piece of stone is your origin of light, right? And over here is your ground. So it has to make a light beam from every, uh, Every single, everything over there, that's where your light source is. Every pixel has to be a calculated light source. So, since the sun is here, this will be illuminated, but this side won't. So, this, if we put a block here, this side doesn't get to shadow. So, every single one of these pixels, the game has to tell the uh, ray tracing pack that, hey, you don't get to have pixels. That's why, like, this looks darker It's because it's a shadow. But that's also why this looks shiny, is because it isn't because it's made to be shiny. Because I've noticed pretty much every RTX pack that I've ever owned or had, it's always been shiny. That's why I'm so glad shaders are coming, because we don't have to. You don't have to have a high-end GPU to run shaders, really. So you can have like your GTX 1080 or your RX like 6800, which actually you can run ray tracing, but I'm meant to say like 5700X or something like that. Because that'll run shaders, but it won't run ray tracing because it, NVIDIA is like, no. But every single pixel has to figure out if it gets lit or not. Because if you look, it's kind of a pixel by pixel shadow. It, I'm not really going to try zooming in. But it's a pixel by pixel shadow. Yes, the reflections are kind of nice. But then again, do you really think that someone would be reflecting off of grass? I can get the sun reflecting off of water. But why the heck would the sun be reflect reflecting off of grass? Look, a sun dog. And a cow. That's basically how ray tracing works. But the problem is, is they incredibly upsell these things. Saying, this is the best graphics card. Now, yes they are. Kind of. If you're wanting to do ray tracing, they are. Or games that have a lot of ray tracing. Or use a lot of, like light dynamic lighting and stuff yes they're great but charging two thousand dollars for their top of the end card is not great that's kind of uh it's kind of cheating kind of i'm not saying it is i don't know i know a little bit about amd graphics cards and i also know a little bit about nvidia graphics cards come on dude come out, come out man thank you AMD seems to have the best price for performance up to a point, and then after that, NVIDIA just wins because they they can do this a lot better. But the other problem is, this uses up your GPU more. Because if you're not sure whether you guys you can see this or not, but just doing this, it's using 50% of an RTX 2080 Ti. Okay. So that's 20%. It's also consuming 200 watts, which is fine. 
But if I go ahead and I turn the ray tracing off. Alright, I turn ray tracing off. Okay, it's just stock settings. CPU usage goes from 50 to 20%. I don't know why CP or sorry, GPU usage goes from 50 to about 25%. Now, it's, the CPU usage is so high because it's having to reload all every chunk. It'll eventually, yep, it just dipped. And it went back up. That's because I'm going to load the chunks behind me. There we go. But there's no reason for that to even be a feature. Honestly, I don't know why it's even a feature. I know this is kind of a little mini rant video. But if you're trying to just build a nice little computer, don't buy a graphics card. Once it's used, this has the first initials as RTX. If you're going to go cheap, go GTX or RX. Those RX cards and the GTX cards are actually a little bit better for when you're going cheaper. If you're going to build a $600 computer, I would recommend going with an RX card or a GTX card. But it's also like where your brand loyalty is. I don't care. So I bought an RTX 2080 Ti. I don't care. That's why... Uh, you know, but the reason is, is because the reason they're more expensive is because that's calculate light for every single pixel. And they're also the ones who are the objectively, if it is the best at doing ray tracing performance wise, AMD is a little bit better for low end cards, high end cards. NVIDIA is better because they also can spend, make people spend $2,000 on like a $1,500 card. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not the one who's running the industry. So, mini ran over, and, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this miniature rant video. If you did, make sure you guys smash like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications when I release new videos. If you like these kind of techie videos, just let me know. I can make more of them. Like, there's some computer videos I wanted to make, but that's only if you guys want to see those. I know, like, this is mostly a Minecraft channel, and I also need to turn the overlay off. But if you guys would like to see that kind of stuff, I can 100% do that. So, yeah. Uh, the Patreon and the Discord links are in the description. Patreon is not free. I believe I have... You can just pledge a set amount. So, if you want to pledge $100,000, I don't think you can. Good luck trying. If you want to pledge in $0.99, cents, you can, I believe. I think custom pledges are on. I don't know. And the Discord is 100% free. You just join. I'm not always paying attention to discord so if you join and I, you don't get like a guest or member status that's because I haven't looked at it and uh, yeah you can hang out you can chat you can do whatever you can bother me about what video I'm gonna make next and I might tell you I might not and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time goodbye everyone